Well, hello, you incredibly awesome and beautiful friends. This is your pal, Edward Zier speaking. Welcome to our next Zoom call. And to start off a Zoom call, can we all get a beautiful love heart? Just one beautiful love heart to start. Oh my God, I don't know about you, but I'm feeling that. PC Panda and I are here to help you win big tonight. I just want to give a shout out to our commanders. We've got a few of them logged in. We've got the Annette Parker. Can we give a round of applause to Annette Parker? Wave from Annette. We have got the powerhouse LinkedIn influencer who knows that a win big Celeste Ansel. Round of applause to Celeste. And of course, as well, we've got a woman who's been busy at the gym on heavy keto and more. We've got Margaret Lilburn. How you doing, Margaret? Good to see you. We'll be hearing from you later. And of course, as well, we have got, she's quite busy right now, but we've got wonderful Lassie looking after Miss Piggy. Can we give a big wave to Lassie as well? And I'll tell you what, we have got a great night with all your winners planned. So if you just come in, a big welcome. And we're just going to kick off this evening in powerhouse style. So um, just so we'll just go through all the boring yet cool stuff first. I'll just show you my wonderful PC screen. Let's go through all the cool stuff first. You should be able to see my screen right now. I just want to say a big welcome to our international networking Zoom. I'm your host, Edward Zier, and I'm with PC Panda, and we're here to help you win big. We've got Celeste, Adrian, Margaret, Annette, Tim, and more our team leaders. This networking event goes for roughly an hour and it is being recorded. That's an opportunity for you to connect and promote yourself and more. And if you love what we do as well, we've got heaps of mentoring programs to help you out. Please as well, keep your microphone on mute. Be super positive. Don't swear and weird stuff like that. And just remember it's being recorded. So with all the official stuff out of the way, let's kick off the evening. And I don't know what it is. I have this urge to speak to the legendary Annette Parker. Annette Parker, amazing lady. She knows how to win big. Annette Parker, have you been lately? Hello, Ed. How are those biceps going? Well, what do you think of this, <laughs> huh? See that bulge there? That's awesome. Awesome. And yeah. hello, Miss Lassie Zia. Big wave to Lassie. PC Panda says that <laughs> you're pretty cool. Yes. So how are you? Good? Really good, Annette. Now, Annette, you are a woman of wisdom and spirituality. Right. Can you tell us very quickly how to get the most out of this networking event tonight? Well, I would start off by really being uniquely you. Um, if you don't know who you are, nobody else will. And I think that when it comes down to marketing, a lot has changed since even last year. I think everyone has noticed there's a very different trend happening. And I have noticed it even since March. I haven't been on LinkedIn that long, but uh, people are really looking for genuine connections. They want to know the person behind the profession. So, you know, we go through this a little bit on Celeste's calls. You really have to be open and transparent in order for people to know, like, and trust you. So I would say, you know, keep that marketing stamina going. Don't get into that whole comparison despair thing because everyone's at different levels and keep networking with really cool people. Just be unique and get out there and do it. Oh, brilliant. And Annette, do you think the people on the Zoom call are very sexy and attractive? Do you think that to be true, Annette? I think they're the sexiest bunch of people oh. I've seen all week. Truly? Yes. Can we give a standing ovation to Annette Parker? <laughs> standing ovation. Standing ovation. <laughs> Cheers. No, so, Annette, big welcome. And Annette, share your details. Annette's an amazing lady. And make sure you connect with her. We'll bounce over to one of our other elite officers. The wonderful LinkedIn influencer herself. And every time I open LinkedIn, she's crossed another thousand followers. It is the woman of celestial origin. Celeste Ansel, how are you doing, my friend? I'm doing well. <laughs> I'm doing really well. How are you, Ed? I'm just saying, how are you doing? Every time I refresh my LinkedIn, you've crossed another yep. thousand connections. What's your secret, Celeste? Spill the beans. Oh. Tell us the truth. Honestly, it's about getting yourself out there. If you're waiting for people to come to you, I think um, you, you you better just stop doing that because you're not going to get anywhere. You're going to stay in the same spot. So you've got to move forward and, and collect people along the way and in actually try and build relationships as well. It's not just about the numbers. I obviously really appreciate the numbers, but then also stepping back and then, um, you know, talking to people and, and building that relationship, which is really awesome i really love it <laughs> it's so well said celeste and what are your big tips for people to get the most out of this networking experience be it they're watching the recording or yep. they're live on the line right now 
Well, uh, I think if you're here, if you have the chance to be live and not re-watching, um, watching a replay, it's about turning up with your personality. I love being on camera if you haven't noticed. <laughs> Not at all. Um, because I've got absolutely no problem. <laughs> but some people do. And this is the thing. If you at least look like you're interested in what other people are saying, you're going to go far. And then share your details whenever you can. Share your um, your profile, um, share your website, share whatever's coming up. Don't be shy. This is your chance to shine. Oh, my God. So well said. Can we get a victory sign for Celeste? Big, <laughs> big powerhouse victory yeah. summit celeste we love your work <laughs> and and speaking of winners um we're going to speak to one of my friends who's been busy shredding lately doing weights running around the block margaret lilburn how have you been my friend i've been very very well thank you edward you're getting all buff and ripped when are you starting your own tv show <laughs> not yet not yet <laughs> Uh, I, I, gotta, I gotta say it's an honor having you with us margaret what are your hot tips for people to maximize this networking experience okay so um this is actually really aimed at the people who are new to this experience generally on linkedin if you were to share all your details you you're basically just bobbing people but here coming along to this one you actually get like a free pass because edward's already done the introduction so it's just such an opportunity and I think that's actually a really good thing to keep in mind. Oh, totally. And that can involve, for example, you can share links in the chat, you can private chat, yeah. all good stuff like that. And another quick one, uh, Margaret, I want to ask you, what do you think of my suntan? Is it looking awesome or what? What do you think? Suntan? Yeah. Am I getting a tan or what? A little bit, a little bit. There you go. There you go. <laughs> you're looking good, looking that's good. As you spirit, said, you're getting Margaret. buff. That's the spirit. <laughs> buff and suntan is my middle name. Margaret. Round of applause. Can we Thank get you. double victory sign for Margaret? Thank double you. victory. Oh, my God, Margaret, we love you. And, um, oh, yeah, and while all that stuff was going down, um, Adrian was doing, like, some – he was just doing some bench presses before. He just got off the bench <laughs> press to grace us. Um, Adrian, you're getting sexier by the, the day. Um, what's happening in the world of Adrian Lee? Ed, to be honest with you, I've just been mowing the lawns without a shirt on, just trying to get some some suntan and some some – embrace some of that good sunshine for the body i don't know about you but that gave me a tingle just thinking of adrian lee with his shirt off mowing the lawn i don't know about you did that did that give anyone a tingle it certainly gave pc panda a tingle put up your hand if it gave you a tingle adrian about a shirt yeah trent trent yeah trent uh hey. gave trent a tingle just to let you know that absolutely love that <laughs> appreciate it trent so, so, so besides doing like sort of like the hot adrian lee calendar naked shots so what have you been up to adrian to be honest ed i've um just been focused on rearranging um my schedule at the moment just with the little baby i haven't been able to um you know get as much done as i normally would but i'm actually embracing the time with um the young fella so um that's been awesome and then uh, i guess just um working on the other biz at the moment so i've got the fitness stuff happening but um just trying to finalize a few things there and then um obviously just being looking after myself to be honest well that's obvious you yeah. definitely are looking after yourself um and, and adrian what are your tips for people to maximize this networking experience well i think the lovely celeste she sums it up as always i just want to say by the way celeste absolutely what i meant by love the face as in i love the face i love the rosy cheeks um so to be honest um don't be shy get out of your comfort zone connect with people that you want to. Um, obviously not everyone's going to be your cup of tea, as they say. There you go, Celeste, a cup of tea. And um, yeah, just connect and um, get out of your comfort zone and you know, live life and be amazing. Oh, that's a spirit. Can we get thumbs up for Adrian Lee? Thumbs up. And Adrian, keep taking that shirt off. That's what we like to hear. PC Panda thinks that's really hot, by the way. Thanks, yeah, great Ed. job, Adrian. Pleasure. Appreciate All it. right. So before our um, PC Panda um, gets into more trouble, um, we're up to the bit where we can do our elevator pitches. Now, it's like half a minute to a minute. You can just say hello to the room. You can do a sales pitch. Whatever you want to do, you can talk about how you're going to vote Trump in the election, whatever floats your boat. Um, so, yeah, if you want to do an elevator pitch, um, just I'm going to select three people now. Put up your hand. We've got Bakshar 1. Who else? Uh, Amir 2. 
And do we get a third one? We've got Bakshar Amir and Christine Bell. And don't worry, Super and Alistair will get you guys till 3 am. So, um, so we've got Bakshar. Um, Bakshar, the floor is yours. Hi, people. Great to see uh, all of you. And uh, yeah, it's been very, very nice to see all of you. And uh, I'm here in Bangalore, India. It has been raining quite a bit here. But otherwise, yeah, it's a bit chilly and cold. Nice, nice weather to sleep. So yeah, but otherwise, yeah, I'm a senior business analyst and a software developer. I also work as a big data analyst. I am trying to get my head around with a lot of material that I'm trying to study and up my skills, but unfortunately it's too much. And uh, I don't know sometimes where to start, where to continue and where to stop. So yeah, just trying to do that, but uh, it's been a bit boring otherwise trying to bring some interest into my life. Uh, can't go out in chilly weather. So yeah, just enjoying a cup of tea now. So yeah. What tea are you drinking? What what tea? It's it's tea. I mean, uh, you get tea powder. You get tea powder. Tea you they crush powder? the leaves. Yeah. They get, they... Like a tea bag and you dunk it in or whatever. What's this tea powder stuff? No, no, no. They crush the tea leaves and yeah. uh, they dry it and make it into powder. So what you do is you add it to milk and boil it, add some sugar. And then oh. uh, when it starts to boil, you strain it with a strainer and then you drink the tea. Ah. That's how we make tea here. Oh. Can you make us all tea next time, Baksha? Definitely, definitely. Most That's definitely. the spirit. Can we get- Make all of you a cup of tea. India Baksha, style we tea. we love you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks and guys, cheers. And speaking of love, we need to bounce over to our friendly property expert, Amir Meshel. How are you doing, Amir? Hey, Ed, how are you? Good to see you, man. I've got to say, I love your tie. It is spiffy to the max. Thank you. Thank you. It's, uh, it's our signature color, so I go for the black and gold. What's been happening in the world of Amir? Well, I just want to do a quick shout out, actually, to Margaret. I had a great meeting today with Margaret over a, a lunch and with Charles and also connected today with a few other people that I met through Edward. So if you guys aren't coming to the meetup, you should, because the face-to-face -face meetup really opens up some beautiful conversations. Yeah. And I was amazed at some of the stuff that Margaret's doing. And obviously, I'm not going to let the cat out of the bag, but wow, what a great thinker. Uh, and what happened to me that night of the meetup in Darling Harbour? What did everyone do to me, Amir? I don't think anybody remembers, Ed. Um, you had to be there. <laughs> yeah, it, it, what actually happened for the sake of the audience, we had a face-to-face -face meetup in Darling Harbour and um, everyone was buying me whiskey. And after about nine whiskeys, the evening was a bit of a blur. I think I got drunk and had McDonald's on Darling Harbour with Charles or something. It was like they kicked us out on closing, I think. I hope it was good whiskey, mate. Who knows? Oh, and Trent bought me some whiskey and Trent bought me a single malt. Trent, God bless your heart, sir. <laughs> there we go. And, and Amir, I was going to say you're awesome. And Amir, share your links. Can we get a thumbs up to Amir? Sh share your links, big man. A big thank you. We'll do. We'll do. Chatting now. Share your links, top property guy. And let's bounce over to a superior researcher, customer strategist, and a woman who does not miss a beat. We have got... Christine Bell. How are you doing, Christine? I'm good. How are you guys? Oh, it's good. It's always good seeing you, Christine. You bring a level of professionalism isn't it, to the oh. events that balances out my amateur-esque nature. I love oh, it. Thank you. I was going to say, it sounds like I missed out on a good night. I left too early from the, from the meetup, hey? You guys yeah. got, uh, got on the piss or what? Sorry, I'm not supposed to say that. Drunk. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we were um, inebriated. Is that the word, inebriation? I don't know the word. Is it inebriation? I don't know. But anyway, it sounds like it was fun. I did see that picture of you and Charles, but it was actually to just say what Amir said. It was actually wonderful to meet you all face to face. And, and I really enjoyed it. And I can't wait for joining again at some point. Oh, it's a pleasure. And Christine, tell us a bit about your absolute brilliance and how you help people win big. So mainly I work with corporates at the moment and what I do for them is I help them understand who the customers are in terms of the motivation, the, why they make decisions in the category, how they make the decisions, what their needs are. And I use that insights and for my clients, the corporates, I turn that into opportunities for them. 
and also give them a lot of insights in the customers and how they can create more meaningful relationships. And I use qualitative research tools for that. And what I'm doing now, since uh, things have changed slightly because of COVID, it's gotten a little bit more quiet with the face-to-face -face, uh, interviews I used to do with customers all the time. Uh, so I've had time to develop my passion business, which is um, helping startups and small businesses, people looking to start a business on how to understand the customer, define their um, target market, and also uh, identify some real opportunities in terms of how they can uh, create meaningful, long lasting relationships. And I've got a, a webinar running at the moment, uh, which is number six next week. I must say, I probably um, did a little overreach in terms of numbers of webinars when you're starting out, but um, um, it's still going. And on Tuesday, the 27th at 8 p.m., Sydney time. Uh, I'm running one on how to create your unique selling point. So feel wow. free to join. Are you going to share the link? Awesome. Yeah. Content. Yeah. Well, I must say I'm not very good at looking at the chat. So if anyone is writing me, don't don't be upset if I if I don't see your private message. It's just that I tend to just focus on listening and looking at you guys. Oh my God, Christine! Can we give Christine double thumbs up? Double thumbs up to Christine. Mm -hmm. Love your work. And we're just going to squeeze in Subin and Alistair because PC Panda finds both those guys attractive. Um, Subin, how you doing, my friend? We'll go Subin then handsome Bruce Willis slash Alistair. Good, good. I'm very much excited to join the group. And uh, yeah, I find everyone is awesome and listen to the people. And uh, when I saw who uh, Adrian without any shirt, I thought, oh my gosh, like I'm really... I, I feel that's a freedom to be uh, myself. And uh, I'm, I'm normally a very shy guy and <laughs> yeah. trying to get inspiration from others. But I have been an engineer working as a project manager, but currently I'm almost semi-retired and I can do whatever I want to my, and follow my dreams. So my, um, I find my life purpose as helping others achieving their hopes and dreams in their lives. So I see it's a good opportunity for um, the project uh, to help our project managers to learn about leadership skills because I find like myself, lots of project managers have um, transitioned from engineers into project managers and uh, there are lots of good opportunities to, um, you know, to, 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 up their skills on the leadership side. So that's what I'm passionate about, creating some training and uh, adding some value into those people who needs to step up. Ah, oh, Subin, well said. And Subin, can you share your LinkedIn uh, link in the chat so everyone can connect with you? Absolutely. Beautiful. Can we get victory for Subin? Love your work, man. And we'll just squeeze in Alistair Lockhart. Instead of Callista Flockhart, Alistair Lockhart. How are you doing, Alistair? Very good. Uh, morning, everybody. Thank you for the um, very timely Bruce Willis reference. We are currently educating the kids uh, with correction. the Correction. You're not Bruce Willis, you're Jason Stratham, because I can Jason Stratham more definitely. Okay, well, we're not watching any Jason films, but we are we are educating the kids on the Die Hard series. So uh, very, very timely reference there. Um, morning, everybody. Uh, great to be here. Um, my day jobs are that I'm the commercial director of a law firm uh, and the director of a publishing company. Uh, but that's not what I'd like to talk about. What I'd like to talk about is what I'm passionate about, which is uh, search engine optimization and keyword research, digging into the data and working out uh, really what somebody should be ranking for. Um, and uh, as usual, I'd just like to bring a little example to the table of how this works. So um, I had a look up uh, career, co co there's lots of people obviously looking to change jobs, COVID, lots of redundancies. So looking up in Australia, career coaches and career counsellors, um, much easier to rank for coach than counsellor. Uh, in Australia, even though obviously counsellor is much more of a recognised term than it is here in the UK. Um, and looking at it by city, there are twice as many people looking for a career counsellor in Melbourne than there are in Sydney. Uh, and it kind of goes down Perth, Adelaide, down to uh, always my favourite example um, for Isabel. Uh, there are no people in Queensland looking for career counsellors or career coaches. So if I was a career coach, and I wanted to, and I was sitting in Queensland wondering why I wasn't getting any business. 
I'd be, you know, assuming I could get in, I'd be moving to Melbourne. So that's just an example of how the data works. And you can really reverse engineer uh, either a new business or you can grow a business if you know the numbers. So if you want me to run the numbers for you on any part of the forest, just give me a shout. I'll put my uh, LinkedIn uh, thing into the into the chat room. Thanks very much. Oh, Alistair, it's a pleasure and big thank you. And just a quick one as well. Wonderful Lassie. Can we get a wave out to Lassie? Big wave out to Lassie. Lassie put up the networking post. So two things. If you haven't connected with Lassie yet, send her a friend request now. Um, and if you go to your activity notifications or your LinkedIn news feed, you should be able to now see Lassie's LinkedIn networking post. So make sure you like, comment and share and join the conversation there as Lassie tries to bring everyone together. So do that one. And what I was thinking is um, we should take a photo in a minute or two while we're still all here early. But before we take a photo, so get ready for the photo, get all ready for that. Before we do it, I want to bounce over to our friend Isabel Franklin, because last time Isabel Franklin spoke, she revved up the audience. And Isabel, how are you doing, my friend? I'm fantastic. I wasn't allowed to swear, so I thought, oh, keep it fantastic. Yeah, you got to keep the profanity off, otherwise... Um, the Chinese Communist Party who owns Zoom will shut down the stream and we can't have that happening. No, we can't. No, but I'm great. Um, in fact, I'm so good. There's yeah. seven days, three hours and two minutes to go that I'm on a plane. And where are you flying to? I'm going to Sydney! Yes, <laughs> yes. Isabel's immigrating to Sydney, the greatest city on earth. And Isabel, we just can't wait till we have you with us. Yeah, yeah, get out of the nanny state, as Alistair says. Move. That's spirit. <laughs> now, now, Isabel, can you can you say something off the wall to us to get us all ready for a photo? Say some of your cool, crazy, red-pilled shit just to get us all going. Say something red-pilled and cool. Really? Yeah, just say something crazy. Your craziness is awesome. Just get it. Get that blood flow. I mean, Adrian without a shirt got our blood flowing in one sense, but can you get our blood flowing in another sense, if you know what I mean? Go for it, Isabel. Okay, so I'm the online and offline dating diva. And fellas, stop calling for women and being a sa Captain Saber Ho. And ladies, you're not Captain Saber Son. Now, if you're looking for an opportunity in business and you're a woman, beautiful women i have a workshop going to come up very soon uh, well it's in about two months i'm preparing for it and it's women only and it's called pussy control wow in the bank before you have the d in the drawers thought i'd keep it a little bit clean <laughs> wow so that, i can't wait so i'll walk into novotel darling harbour and i'll have isabel franklin's pussy control workshop that is correct yes well um I'm sure you'll fill it, actually. I reckon you'll easily sell 15 tickets at 697 plus GST, no problem. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I'm sure yeah. I'll have a few fellas in there too, but oh, you know. That's a spirit. They're all just the pervs chasing the ladies. That, sure. That's the next workshop, D-Control. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know about you, but has do you think Isabel's got us all ready to take a photo? PC Panda does, yeah. Can I get a thumbs up if you're ready for a photo? All right, thank you, Isabel. Um, all right, let's get ready to take a photo now. So make sure your cam's on, look all beautiful. I'm just going to go to full screen on my PC. Feel free to take photos now as well. Now you got to, oh, sorry, I haven't, let me zoom enough. Hang on, view, pardon me. There we go, full screen. All right, everyone. So I'll just test the cam. Just, yep, so snag it's working. All right, so smile and hold the pose. Smile, hold the pose. Oh, great shot, my friends. Now, I was just going to say, I'm going to do it again. Adrian was showing his, like, Adrian was doing some weird stuff. Like, he was trying to take a shot. Can we do it again? And Adrian, try not to be too weird. Just a little bit weird, but not too weird. So, can we do it again? Hold the pose. Come on, Adrian. Now, hold, uh, hold the pose. Adrian, okay, one more time. Let's go. Adrian, hold the pose. Hold the pose. Three, two, one, smile. Oh my God, yes. Yes, and who else wants to take a photo? Now's your chance. So everyone, let's hold the pose. And if you want to take a photo and put it on LinkedIn, now's your chance. So who wants to take a photo now? Go for it, everyone. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Can we yeah. give a double thumbs up 
And a round of applause. There we go. That's just beautiful. I think we're, I don't know about you, but if you think this is the sexiest Zoom ever run, can I get your hand up if you think it's the sexiest Zoom ever? I certainly do. That's the spirit. All right. Um, so we're doing great for time. Um, let's do some more elevator pitches just to keep the party atmosphere moving. So if you want to do an elevator pitch, um, we'll do three. Just put up your hand and hold up your hand just so I can get you. We'll pick three people now. Elevator pitch. Who wants to do an elevator pitch? No one gives a shit. K1. Annie. <laughs> Annie Sue, you like that one? Annie Sue, <laughs> Isabel likes that one. And, and um, Elin, I got you. Elin number three. I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly. So before Isabel completely dies, um, so it was Kay, Annie, and Elin. So um, Ed, yeah, oh, yeah, dude, I gotta go put the baby to bed. Oh, can we? Um, do you want to say anything cool before you run off? I just want to say everyone is freaking awesome, and everyone <laughs> looks like they're having a great evening. So. Whoever hasn't had a had a good old yarn this evening and uh, talks about themselves and how they can help others, get out there and just interrupt. Just get in there. Yeah, just take your shirt off. Just say it. Mow yeah. the lawn. Mow the lawn good. It's it's like be like the bachelorette, how you just like someone speaking and just come in and just like take over. Oh. Don't do that. Maybe that's a bit rude. But anyway, you know what I mean. Have fun. Get out of your comfort zone. Enjoy your oh, evening. Can we give a round of applause to Adrian? Yes. Yes. Yeah. All right. Um, I dare you to do a video of yourself topless mowing the lawn and upload it to LinkedIn. I double right, dare I'll you. Do it. I'll do it tomorrow. I'll get the lawn mower out again. All right. Who thinks Adrian should do a video of him topless mowing the lawn and put it on LinkedIn? I'll re-mow the lawn. I In my mankini. So it actually gets some views. Let's just do the top off. Let's leave the mankini to bore out, okay? Top off is good. <laughs> there you guys. Thank you. I'm sorry, Ed. I think you're being a little bit sexist. I think, you know, we could have some women who mow in some lawns. That sounds good. That sounds, I, I agree. I'm all about equal. I don't know how to operate a lawnmower. I don't know about the, uh, the topless either. So oh. I want to see I'll... some women wearing mankinis. No, that'd be interesting. Anyway, let's focus back on the event <laughs> before the Chinese Communist Party cancels the Zoom. You know, those commies are conservative. You know how they're always changing Hollywood movies these days. Yeah. All right. So I'm just going to um, just mute everyone just to reset. So I think it was Kay, Annie, and Elin. Was that right? I think that's right. Yeah. So, Kay, unmute. The floor is yours, my awesome friend. Uh, thank you, Ed. Um, nice to be here today. Um, I did get the time right as well because your times have changed and ours hasn't. Yeah. I'm here in the UK in a wet southwest Wales on lockdown. Well, we are on Friday anyway. So that makes no difference to me because I can work with all you lovely people down in Australia because I work with energy. I'm Kay Downey, the sole mechanic. And like a mechanic bleeds your brakes on your car, I bleed your emotions. I get rid of your anxiety, your depression, your PTSD your aches and pains. And with alongside that, I read tarot and soul cards and give you guidance in the situation. So if you would like to come and work with me and let my tools enable and empower your magic, my details are in the chat. Thank you. I love your authenticity. Can we give an AOK -okay symbol for legendary K? AOK, -okay, you're number one. Love your work, K. And, um, powerhouse author who's busy on the beach who's defied victorian lockdown orders she's pushing back against the corrupt government and she's a winner annie payment how you doing good hi thanks ed well actually no i did something really exciting today i went to the supermarket for the first time in four months oh wow did you get bashed up by victoria police or were you okay oh uh, it's all good we can travel 25 kilometers now oh so generous communist dan lets you out of the house now bravo huh Anyway, <laughs> politics. Um, I'm an author, as Edward mentioned, and I've written a book called The Strength Within. Can you see it? It's a bit hard oh, to see. Can you turn off your background for a second and then we can see it because okay. unless you've got like a dead body or something behind you. No, I haven't, but I'm in another room at the moment. There you go. That's not too bad. There's my book. Strength and, uh, it's about my journey. I'm a three times cancer survivor, but I don't dwell on the disease. I talk about overcoming adversity 
um, with determination and resilience and having hope. Shout out to Celeste. She's bought herself a copy. And uh, no, the book's going really, really well. But I've got some excellent big, big, big news for those who don't like to read. Uh, my book's coming out in audio. So in a couple of weeks, you'll be able to listen to my book. Narrated by you, right? Narrated by you? Actually, not narrated by me. Ooh. It's a secret. Uh, I've got a professional actor Ooh. who's narrated it and she's brilliant. She's just so totally got me. And uh, it's ab absolutely beautiful. I only listened to a few words, I already started crying, but it's all full of hope, my book. So, yeah, really, it's really doing well. Oh my God. So, so when, um, pardon me, when's the release date? When's it coming out, Annie? Well, it's in the process of being uploaded to all those um, things uh, up in the sky. Uh, platforms, we'll call so, them. Platforms. Yeah, platforms. Um, so it'll be available on everything, Amazon, Spotify, iPhone, it'll be on 50 different platforms. So in another couple of weeks, I'll certainly let you know when it comes out. Oh, my God. Annie, we can't wait. Come back and release. Round of applause to Annie. That is legendary. Thank you. Thank you. And of course, we have got, I'm sorry, I've got two screens to work over. Is it Elin? Am I pronouncing your name correctly, Elin? Uh, it's Eileen, but honestly, any anything works. Oh, Eileen, welcome. Um, the floor is yours. How are you? Thank you so much. And thank you so much for the introduction, Edward, as well as everyone's amazing pictures and this, this story shared. So a little bit about me, I am based in the Gold Coast in Queen, sunny Queensland, Australia. You can see a little backdrop in the back there. And uh, basically my story comes from uh, basically earlier in the year being stranded on my travels in Europe and slowly seeing how COVID crafted and uh, basically affected a lot of uh, businesses that were local to my heart. And so from that, I've um, started an agency, an international agency that really focuses on uplifting and supporting local or small businesses around the world because there are a lot of industries that really got affected, unfortunately, due to COVID. A lot of, a lot of industries uh, thrive, uh, thankfully, but a lot of industries, unfortunately, um, didn't. And so what I've done with my agency is um, really focus solely on those smaller to medium businesses and actually strategizing with Facebook uh, to run ad campaigns. So I am personally a Facebook technician that uh, works solely into you know, creating more clientele, whether it be customers, uh, whether it be leads for different businesses. And we are a global agency uh, called Red Rocket Agency. And we're just yeah, really passionate about helping those businesses that really struggled through COVID. So feel free to uh, reach out to me through LinkedIn or through our website, just redrocket-agency.com. And just on that, Aline, what I was going to suggest is share your LinkedIn link so people can add you and also share your website link through the chat so people can check it out too. Absolutely. And thank you once again for everyone's time and being inspiration. Oh, beautiful. Could you be a beautiful, loving wave to Elin? An honour having you with us and big thank you. So um, we're actually um, past halfway now. Um, and just a few things uh, as just check in, keep the moves going. Um, we're actually at the bit now where usually Celeste does a little dance routine just to re-energise us. So um, we'll give Celeste a minute or two to um, get a Spotify and that ready and get a music and tunes ready. So give Celeste a minute or two. But I just want to just check in and do a few things while Celeste is getting ready. Firstly, um, who here is having a good time tonight? Can you get a raise of hands if you're having a good time? Excellent. What I want to do is while Celeste is doing that, I'm just going to share the link for our next meetup, um, our next international networking Zoom. So I was just going to say what I'd really appreciate is I'm just digging up the link now. If you can, if you're going to come, of course, please, I'm sharing the link now in the chat. If you could please book into the event right now, that'll be handy because what happened, the way meetup works is the earlier people book in is the more it takes off in the algorithm. So if you can please click that link I've shared right now and book in right now while Celeste is uh, getting ready, that'll be good. Um, so book in right now for that one. We'll just get, Celeste is almost there. I can see her priming up and doing that head waving thing. So book into that one. The other thing I want to share with you as well, and this is just for Sydney only. So my apologies if you're not in Sydney. So again, if you're from around the world, come to our international networking Zooms. We've got a new sponsor for, we've got a new permanent sponsor for our networking events. Um, 
the pump house, which is part of Novotel Darling Square. So we've got Novotel Darling Square in Sydney looking after us. Just sharing the link now. This is on Tuesday. So the link I've just shared. So the first link is to the Zoom. Please book in for that one. That's international. The link I just shared then is for our networking event run by myself, Margaret and Celeste. That's on Tuesday. I'm oh, sorry, correction. That's on Tuesday, the 10th of November at 5 p.m. So if you want to join us face to face, um, please uh, book in right now. Again, if you book in right now, it helps us take off in the algorithm. And also to my beautiful friends, guests are most welcome. So feel free to share our Zoom event, guests are most welcome. And of course, our face to face event. So yeah, feel free to share it and book in right now. So while we're doing that, um, Celeste is going to go old school. Let's um, hand over to Celeste to re-energize us with a dance troupe. Hello. Yeah, so I am going old school. So um, I don't know how old this song is, but it takes me back. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to play it. And if you don't like it, too bad. It's my song choice. So here we go. Yeah, Celeste is the commander. Uh, so, uh, yep, yep, I am. So let's go. What is love? Baby, don't hurt me. That is incredible. <laughs> oh, who thought that was a good choice? Because PC Panda thought that was a good choice. Raise your hand. And oh, I, just, I think Chris Miller's just drinking beer right now. Chris Miller's getting right into it. Well, just, he thought he was at the pub. <laughs> oh, that's kombucha. I thought Chris was saying this is awesome and just knocking right. back a VB long neck. <laughs> nah, big thank you. Well, I got you, Celeste. Uh, yeah. Well, I've got you. Have you got any uh, hot tips for us on LinkedIn or becoming influencers or just anything cool like that while we've got you? Uh, yeah, I think uh, the first things first is to really know who you are and what you represent, what your services are. Without clarity, you're going to feel confused and you're going to confuse your audience. So um, that's one of the main things I do in my sessions. I sit down with someone and I, I prompt them and they end up coming up with some great things about their services and what they do. And sometimes it's a complete 180 from what they're currently doing. So being really strong on your brand and then sharing that in um, a value-based kind of way with posts and um, you know, free resources and having that open communication with people is really key. Oh, beautiful. And, um, and how do people hire you, Celeste? If someone wants to hire you and throw money at you, how do they do it? Oh, they just have to slide into my DMs, you know what I mean? Like hit me up and say, hey, I'd like to have a one-on-one -on -one session with you. And I'll be like, cool, when do you want to book in? So I had a session a bit earlier today and um, she's a healer and she just um, didn't put two and two together that she is a leader in her field because she's got 20 years experience. And just having someone sitting there and going, this plus this plus this equals you and you're amazing. is It's so important these days when people might not have the mindset they, that they need to keep driving through their business Business. so it's important to have like-minded people and people who support you around you and I'm one of those people I'll be your biggest cheerleader oh my god and that is just so obviously true give me a thumbs up to Celeste I'm excited about everything guys so. <laughs> that's the spirit and, and look speaking about cheering and winning I think that's a great opening to we'll speak to Annette then we'll chat to Margaret Annette Parker how are you doing this evening Awesome, awesome. The energy is just happening. It's a real vibe there. I, I used to club to that song, Celeste. I feel really old now, but got me in the groove again. <laughs> Man, I tell you what, we're all getting old, but something I noticed, the older we get, the better looking we become. I think that to be true in it. Oh, wow. That's cool. Yeah, I'll take that on board for sure. For sure. I was, was going to ask you, Annette, you are just um, building on the wonderful points raised by Celeste. What are some of your spiritual and energy thoughts you'd love to share with the room tonight? 
Okay, so, you know, um, one thing that really struck with me today, I've, I've often talked about meditation, that's always been my go to. And um, I haven't been very well, I've been really struggling with some health issues lately. So I've used meditation as a go to. But a lot of people think that if they stick a little piece of paper on the wall with a few affirmations that that's going to do the trick and it's not it's like with anything business um, sport uh, relationships there has to be that intent behind it so there's a real art to affirmations. so if you are going to use affirmations and really try and pump yourself up make sure you're in a really good state of mind and you've got the energy vibing as well so you've got that flow state going because no amount of talk will work unless you're actually using your energy constructively. So that's my tip for the night. Does that make sense? Oh, absolutely. You're t absolutely red pilling us. Oh, um, <laughs> well, really? Thank you. And um, I tell you what, isn't it exciting? We've got an election coming up a few weeks in the US. Any thoughts on the election, Annette? Oh my God. You know what? I wanted to ask you about this. In fact, I've got a picture that I will send you after this uh, Zoom. It's probably not PC to share it here, but yeah. I just watched uh, a Sky News um, segment on Biden and all the shenanigans that his son has been up to Whoa. in Russia. My yeah. God, that man, th there's just so many lies and deceit. He's oh. I'm sorry, I'm not into politics at all. I don't stand for anything, guys. But Biden is an evil man. Evil. Oh, that's the spirit. And you got to watch it because the Chinese Communist Party are going to shut down our Zoom. You can see Christine oh. Bell. Christine Bell's going to, like, put a picture of you on a wall in a minute, the way you're going, Annette Parker. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's not, let's not piss off half the Zoom. Annette, we love yeah. you. We're up to you, I wasn't trying to. I wasn't. It was just something that I watched today. It was terrible. But I'm not into. Yeah, I'm not into politics, guys. So, just an go. opinion. There you go. I love Scott Morrison, Annette. We love your work. Go, Scott Morrison. And, and let's bounce. And speaking of red pilling and the world and Margaret Lilburn, what's happening in the world of Margaret? Very exciting things. My project's going gangbusters. I'm actually wearing a dress that hasn't fit me for seven years. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Standing ovation. Standing ovation. <laughs> Margaret. Yeah. Well, well, stand up and show us. Come on, stand up. Do a little, do a little twirl stand for us. Oh, that is awesome. Can we get more applause from Margaret? That is gold. <laughs> Good for you, Margaret. You deserve to fit into that beautiful number. And I've actually stuck at this um, diet for three weeks now. And it's been challenging. And yeah. I met up with the awesome Stephen Hutchison earlier in the week. Or actually, and um, and um, I'd actually bought the cookbook about half an hour or prior and he actually um, bought it off me. <laughs> so I don't have it now. <laughs> Did you mark it up at 300%? No, I just cost. <laughs> what you sold it at cost? We got to talk. No, just kidding. Stephen's cool. So there you go. See, I've got everybody. I've got everybody interested in what I'm doing now. I mean, yeah, you know, I feel great. Well, you're you're shredding like crazy. Um, you're I'm... gonna be doing. When are you gonna be doing chin up videos on LinkedIn? I reckon oh. you're not bad of doing chin up videos. Yeah, well, Adrian's not on the call anymore. Um, I've been dropping the ball a little bit in that area, and I need to pick it up again because um. I really do need to get fitter, oh, you know. Oh yeah. um, and the SBS that was on, la on on Tuesday, I mean, I'm thinking I've actually lost so much weight since then. <laughs> uh, mm. All I can say is, Margaret, keep it up. Can we get love heart for Margaret? And congratulations on fitting to that number. Look at that. Mm -hmm. I just said love heart and people's hands just flicked up by that. Especially mm -hmm. Subin. Subin can really shape his fingers well. Must be like, I don't know, he's, a, he's a hot Sri Lankan guy, a bit like Kamal, actually. I'm a big Kamal fan, so there you go. Um, and so I can say something to Celeste. Oh, please, shoot. Celeste, you are smashing it, girl. I'm so proud of you. Oh, so, you. so awesome. And I love your tips. Oh, thank He's you smashing so it. Margaret, you're looking amazing too. Your hair, I don't know what's going on with your hair, but it is hot tonight. So. Went to the hairdressers today. Woo! Looking wow. <laughs> it's like, Total new Margaret, like new dress, new weight, new hair, new business. It's pretty cool. 
And I told my hairdresser that every time I go there, it's, it's actually like a PR session. No way. <laughs> well, Margaret, I say keep up the greatness. Can we get double thumbs up for Margaret as well? Double thumbs Thank up. You. Thank you. Thank PC you. Panda had thumbs. He would double thumb up right now. <laughs> double okay. thumb up. Oh, double Wait. plus good. Say again? Double plus good. Double plus good. Yeah, double plus good. Whatever that means, I agree with 1984. you. 1984. Double oh. plus good. Yeah, two plus two equals four. Just so you know, I was up late last night watching the film 1984. Who's seen 1984? Raise your hand if you've seen 1984. And who's read it? Uh, who's read it? I haven't read it because I can't read. I'm illiterate. No, uh, you're getting coffee next week. But just so you know, if Biden gets in, it's going to become 1984. So don't vote Biden. There you go. Yeah, thanks for your tips there, Annette. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that's and that's going to put on the red hat any second now. So let's keep it all moving. <laughs> Just kidding. There you go. Um, there you go. I was going to say, oh, we're doing great tonight, friends. We've got oh, we've got twelve minutes left. Um, let's do some elevator pitches. So, especially you haven't okay. Let's see one. Especially you haven't spoken. Now's a great chance for you to do your elevator pitch. So we've got Alessio 1. I'll pick five this time, if I can. So we've got Alessio 1. I'll pick three of them, so I can't remember more than that. Alessio 1, who else wants to do an elevator? Kemi 2. In 3. Hey, Paul. Paul 4, if I remember, which I probably won't. And and no, Mia, you've already... Oh, we, we can squeeze you in, Mia. So let's... I can't remember what I just said. Anyway, Alessio, you're next. Go, Alessio. Floor is yours. Thank you very much, Adult, for the speech uh, and uh, um, welcome. Um, hello to everyone. Uh, here is uh, almost 10, p 10 a.m. and uh, lovely to see you again. And uh, I work in the field of technology, uh, looking at looking for the excellences and with the small producers. And uh, I I've already put down the, my uh, my LinkedIn. Uh, and uh, uh, and the links of, of the platforms, and uh, yeah, I work in the field of knowledge, looking for the excellences. With uh, with a, a friend of mine, I work um, for um, uh, uh, a better world to recreate the for largest market in the world within this platform. Uh, uh, and me, uh, as I said, I work for with uh, with wines uh, and. Uh, uh, I want to see you all uh, in this platform and uh, also uh, check my LinkedIn as well. Thank you very much, Edward. Oh, Alessio, it's a pleasure. And Alessio, please reshare the links as well right now just so people can check out what you're saying. Just reshare the links now, man. Pleasure. We'll go to Cami, and then we'll bounce over to... Ian Parker, then Paul Moore. So, um, oh, we'll, we'll get you to Lavanya. Don't you worry. We'll get you. Hey, Cammy, the floor is yours. Morning, afternoon, night, wherever everybody is. <laughs> Hi, Edward. <laughs> Thanks for having me on here. Um, so for me, I'm Please. a health and wellness coach. So I help people gain weight, lose weight, whatever they're interested in. And it's in 26 countries, so it doesn't matter where you are, whether you're in Australia, America, Canada, the list goes on. So, yeah, if you're interested, my I'll put my details in the chat box again. Thanks, Edwards. Beautiful. Cammy, big wave to Cammy. I just realised as well, before we hit Ian Parker, big shout out, Anya um, Ludmilna. Anya's busy tonight, so she may not be here. But everyone, who know, put up your hand if you know Anya, right? Um, Anya, yep, Anya's wonderful. She may not be in tonight, but just a big shout. Anya says hello and wishing best. She's got a client that probably went over time, so it's a pleasure. We'll go Ian Parker, then we'll go Amir, then Paul. We'll get you guys, don't worry. So we'll go Ian, Amir, then Paul, and we'll get you Lavanya. Ian, the floor is yours, my friend. Hey, thanks, Edward. Hey, everyone. Uh, it's having a great night tonight. It's all... Uh... It's all a bit of fun up here in uh, the Gold Coast behind the Iron Curtain. We are up here, so that's a uh, bit oh, of fun. I tell you what, the sooner we vote out those communists, the better, right, Ian? Hundred percent, hundred percent. So that spirit, yeah. We'll uh, we'll get there. Anyway, um, look, uh, we've got an online sales and uh, leadership coaching program, um, and it's all about relationship selling that people buy from people they know, like, and trust. So. 
What I'd like to offer tonight, Edward, to your people that are here, is a link to an ebook that we've got, which is the 10 things sales professionals do differently. So I'll post it in there, download it, and it's a free book, uh, a free ebook to everyone. Oh, thank you, Ian. Very generous. And um, well, I've got your Wednesday. I, um, you're, the Queensland elections are coming up soon, aren't they? Yes, yeah, Saturday. Oh, what, this Saturday? Is, yeah, this Saturday. Um, no, sorry, oh. the Saturday, the 25th. Sorry, the 25th. Yeah, that's your Saturday. Oh, dude, yeah, you Saturday. those commies out. Yeah, and, and the sad part it. is that I, I think that the um, car premier is going to get back in because the Queenslanders will vote her back in, not the people that moved to Queensland, but the Queenslanders will vote her back in. So anyway, I think we're going to have to put well, up that for another four years. Well, I'm going to have to ring up my friend, Mr. Putin, and ask him <clears> to rig the election. I'll handle that. Don't worry. Don't you worry, Ian. I'll leave that with you. <laughs> <laughs> now, Ian, round of applause. Um, I hope you're wrong, and I know, but you're probably not. So love do your I. work, man. Yeah. You're probably not wrong, but I love your work, man. Um, all right, we'll bounce over to, we'll do Amir, Paul, and then Lavanya. So Amir, the floor is yours, my friend. Hey guys, just wanted to say that um, I've put together a little workshop and it's actually a 12 week workshop. Thanks to Ed's idea of actually not doing um, my normal product. My normal product is being a researcher or a buyer's agent. So you're looking at $20,000 to $60,000. But as Ed said, it's worthwhile doing something at a lower price point just to introduce people to what it's like to work with a buyer's agent. So one thing that um, I've worked together on, it's we the 12-week workshop is $47 a week. But we've decided to put together a special for people in Ed's Vault. So if you're a paid Ed's Vault member, and Ed will verify this, so don't try to cheat, yeah. you'll get 75% off. Oof. which means you're paying $47 three times. So instead of 12 weeks, you only pay for three weeks, $75. And you're in the workshop every week for 12 weeks. And what we do in the workshop is we cover whatever suburb people want to research. So if you vote for a particular suburb, the suburb that gets the most votes to research that week will be exposed in the workshop and we'll work through how to research what's been the best what are the hidden gems and a lot of the general details, but more importantly, the specific details that can help you get a foot up above other people looking at that suburb. So if you're in it for the whole 12 weeks, you get to vote on your suburb and chances are that yours will be the one exposed. So pay your 75% off, but Ed has to confirm that you are a Vault member. So that's my pitch. That's the spirit. Round, thumbs up to Amir. Please share your links and big thank you. Um, we'll go to Paul uh, Conley, then Lavanya. Hey, Paul, how you doing, my friend? Yeah, good, thanks. Um, yeah, so my name's Paul Conley. I'm uh, a beastie not Gold Coast Australia, and I'm in day six of my startup. So I'm on a new business, and uh, I've actually designed a mindset model with packages and, and some products. And uh, I've lost 51.3 kilos since December last year. Oh, God. Where did you leave it? At the airport or something? <laughs> Left it behind. That's all <laughs> gone, I tell you. Yeah, it's all about the mind. You've got to get it up here. Yeah. Yeah. Well, congrats, man. That's, um, that's revolutionary. Um, you got to feel good about that one. Oh, definitely. Yeah, it saved my life because I was getting stabbing pains to the heart. Oh, God. That's, yeah. that's terrible. That's, that was, that's pretty that bad. Terrible. Like. So you were feeling actual cardiac arrest coming along? It was actually a knife, a sharp knife going in and out of the heart. That's so you, saying, you started literally feeling a knife, yeah. a sharp stabbing. That's, yeah. I'm, I'm glad you're still with us. Um, bravo, yeah. Paul, from coming back from the brink. That's good. Cheers. Oh, pleasure. Can you share some links with us as well? Share some links, can you? All right, I will do. Cheers. Well done. Thumbs up to Paul. And can we get double thumbs up for Paul coming back from the brink? There you go. Bravo, man. Yes, mate. There you go. And Lavanya, we'll, hit, um, we'll squeeze you in. Lavanya, how you been, uh, my old friend? Hi. Thank you so much for having me. And uh, good afternoon, everybody. This is Lavanya from India, Bangalore. Uh, so happy to meet all of you. Such amazing energy, Edward. I love yours. And you have a crowd of some amazing friends. I am basically an architect and I'm extremely passionate about sustainability and that is what I have been working for the past two decades. We would love to be able to collaborate with uh, 
you know, somebody working with real estate to be able to help them make their projects more green, where they're more local, they ensure that we're being able to contribute not only to the environment, but also to the upliftment of people and ensuring that, you know, people also kind of rise in their, in their skill set and their, uh, you know, the life, uh, you know, uh, in terms of monetary and otherwise uh, you know, gain as well. So yeah, we've been trying our best and uh, so far we've been able to help more than 250 people in terms of uh, ensuring that they have work and livelihood, looking at uh, life from a little different perspective. Oh, very Thank nice. You. Noble, do you have any links or stuff you can share with us, Lavanya? I already have and I'll do it again. Thank you so ah, much. Very good. Thumbs up to Lavanya. Great seeing you. Welcome back anytime you want. Now, I've only got a few minutes left till we wind up the evening. Um, who hasn't spoken yet that would love to speak? Now is your chance. If you haven't spoken, put up your hand and we'll get you up there. Scanning. Christine one. Anyone else? At Christine one. Mr. M. Dongo two. It will start with Christine and Mr. M. Dongo. My hot black friend. Christine, the floor is yours, my friend. I'm all new to this, so forgive me if I trip up. <laughs> uh, I'm a Reiki master and I assist people with clearing blockages that could be holding them back in being a success in their business. And I'm also an affiliate marketer of digital marketing products and uh, I would be only too happy to assist anyone with uh, I'm an EFT student at the moment so at the moment my EFT is complimentary because I'm a student <laughs> so it takes up a lot of time and that works for various things and I haven't prepared links to put in. What am I allowed to put in? Am I allowed to put my website in or? Yeah, you can, you can put in um, like websites, links to your LinkedIn profile. You can even put up pictures of Donald J. Trump if you want. As long as you don't put up Joe Biden, it's okay. <laughs> Does anybody know when the elections are in New South Wales? Are there any? Because I don't watch TV or listen to the radio. Uh I think that I could be wrong. They're not next year, but the year after. And um, we'll be right behind Gladys Berejiklian at every step. Right. Okay, then. So that's it for now. There you go. And just very quickly, what's behind you on your operating table? There's some something behind you on the operating table. What is that? This is surrogate Sam. He's my surrogate bear. Uh, he or she, Samuel or Samantha. And when I do my Reiki over the internet, the people at the other end can feel the energy. And he gives me the, I can, because he's so big, I can feel that it's the different areas because there's different areas in the legs and the feet that I can feel. Whereas my smaller teddy bear over in the corner I couldn't do the same. So I saw this one and thought, you boot. Oh, I, didn't you realize, I didn't realize how big he was until I adjusted close to fit him. <laughs> yeah, well, you're doing good. I, um, if it's a competition at who's, who's got the biggest bear, I think you've won the war of the bears, Christine. Oh, thank you. The smaller <laughs> one scared my granddaughter. So I don't know about this one. Yeah, the smaller one's got a bit of a chucky thing going on. Like, <laughs> You know what I mean? <laughs> anyway, Christine, can we give a round of applause to Christine? We love your work. Um, yeah. And bravo on the bears. And um, who else? Oh, sorry, it was my um, it was my very sexy, handsome friend, Mr. M. Dongo. How are you doing, Mr. M. Dongo? <laughs> I'm doing great. Uh, Ed, how are you? How is everybody? I hope you, got, you guys are doing very well. Hi, Annette. Hi, Celeste. The, the A team. <laughs> um, so today I just want to, to encourage you guys and tell you that uh, you are all looking good. That's number one. Number two, 
Uh, please know that winners never whine. So yes, with this uh, COVID time that we have, please don't go out there and whine and bitching and mourning and do whatsoever. Just go there and smile, go there and be the best of your vision, right? Because if you go there and bitch and whine or whatsoever, opportunities, they'll come and go, the right pass in front of you, simply because you, you didn't even see them. You were, you were busy whining and bitching and complaining and do sort of that. Stop complaining and go and solve problems because the more you solve problems, the more you make money, the more you solve problems, the more you, you, you also and, uh, become successful in whatever you are doing. Thank you so much. Oh my God, Mr. Mdongo, you should go, you should become a candidate for president. I would so vote for you. Who would vote for Mr. Mdongo for president? I would. Oh my God. Well, on that note, my sexy friends, this brings our networking evening to an epic conclusion. So I just want to say, Big thank you. Come along next time. Just to close the evening, can I get a triple round of applause? Thank you, everyone. Oh, my God. So much winning and love your work. Oh.